Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you uh, the Markdown component. So Markdown is famous for creating the interactive document. And if you have seen it in the R, it basically create an interactive document which an end user can use to to have the text charts, the dynamic charts, and all of those things at one single place. So Dash supports Markdown, and let's see how we can create a very simple Markdown document over here. All right, so what do we have is basically DCC dot markdown and I have a very simple markdown text over here. So what do we have is so this is basically a starting point and this is basically a three quotes ending point and within this you can specify the links like this. So whatever you want. Uh, to be hyperlinked should be in a bracket and followed by a hyperlink so in the front end you will see that markdown is linked to this thing similarly over here the links is basically will be shown and related hyperlink will be this similarly for bold text there are two stars that need it needs to be surrounded and for italics it needs to be surrounded by this but there are a lot of different things uh, that you can do and it is present over here http uh, colon slash for to forward slash common mark dot org so let's go ahead and execute this and put a comma over here execute this execute this and down there if you see dash and markdown it is bold and highlighted markdown as i mentioned will be present as a link over here you have bold text and italics the link as well as you have inline code and snippets if you see go here the inline code code is surrounded by these two quotes and snippets the list quotes and more so all of these things that kind of a formatting which i would say is something which is possible along with the interactivity so that you create beautiful documents which is uh, highly useful for the end user so we will talk more about the markdown in the coming video i am planning to do a series out of it maybe some 10 15 videos so you will see it a lot in action in the upcoming videos so that's about how you can use the markdown within the dash and just to show you also that dash supports markdown if you already have got an experience in using the markdown in your previous projects